Hello and welcome to How To RPG, a video series focusing on teaching the basic mechanics to various tabletop role-playing games. Today we'll be going over Fiasco. Now, what is Fiasco? Fiasco is a one-shot storytelling game designed to play out like a Coen Brothers movie. Designed by Jason Morningstar, you and a group of players will get together to tell a story with your own character's desires for revenge, sex, drugs, or other such things to guide the way, and how you'll react for when all of it goes haywire. Now on to how this game works. Fiasco uses d6s to play, or six-sided dice for those who don't know. What you'll need is about three to five players. Could be give or take depending on how the play sets are designed, but that's usually the general rule of thumb. You'll need four dice per player, two white and two black, or two different pairs of colors or ways to differentiate the dice between two categories, such as plastic or metal dice. A set of index cards, sticky notes, or anything else to keep notes between you and the players. I'll go into further detail in the next section. First stage of the game is the setup. You start off by choosing a playset. Playset is the setting and environment and all that other stuff that you'll be doing to set up what you'll be playing in. You will put all of your dice into a central pile and have them all rolled together. You determine who goes first via whatever means you have, whether it be what the book says or your own methods of doing it. You'll be using the dice that you roll to develop a web of relationships and details between the, the players to your left and to your right. You'll spend the dice that you have rolled to determine the category and type of relationship between each player, and then you'll also be using them to pick needs, locations, and objects that will also be important to drive the story. After that, you'll finalize the characters by giving them names and personalities that you deem fitting to them. Once that's all done, you put all the dice that you have rolled back into the central pile in the middle of the table. Act 1. Choose to establish or resolve a scene. So, the first player will start off the game, and you get to either choose to establish a scene, or choose to resolve a scene. So if you choose to resolve a scene, you will play out that scene as your character, as the rest of the table, will determine what is going on in that scene. If you establish the scene, you yourself design the scene. And then once the scene is played out, you vote for the outcome. If you establish the scene, you vote for the outcome yourself. If the scene was resolved by you, then the rest of the table will vote for your outcome. So, for instance, if it was good, you give them a white die. If you deem it was bad, you give them a black die, or whatever colors or types of dice you have correlated with what you set up. Once you get the die, you give that outcome die to someone else. And only in Act 1, though. Keep that in mind. You play until half the dice are used or left, and that marks the middle point of the story. Then you move on to the tilt. The tilt. With the tilt, you roll all of your dice, the dice that you have collected yourself. Once you do that, you subtract the lowest color from the highest color, and that will be the number that you have. The highest number for each color chooses a complication. Roll the unused dice in the central pile, and then consult the tilt table from the fiasco book to determine what goes wrong in the story. You then move on to Act 2. After the tilt, you'll be dealing with how it all plays out in Act 2. Act 2 plays exactly the same as Act 1, but instead of giving away your die that you get, you get to keep it. And once you get down to the very last die, it is wild, so you can vote for it to be either white or black. You play until all the dice are used, and then you move on to the aftermath. The aftermath is once the story is finished and wrapped up. It is the same rules as the tilt. Once you roll everything up, you'll consult the aftermath table to determine what your characters get. This isn't something you vote, this is what happens to each respective character in the story. And then you interpret how your character's aftermath works based on the results you've got. And that covers the basics to Fiasco. With all that in mind, remember that the dice pile is the pacing for the story, so when it comes to reaching the half point and the end of the game is when you should be reaching a, an appropriate time to have a climax and an aftermath section. You can always have alternative rules to add or subtract dice based on how you are playing with your group, but for the most part, try and keep up with the dice. You can also have other house rules from the books or whatever homebrew that you make that will work with whatever group you play with. And always keep in mind that everyone needs to have their time in the spotlight as this is a collaborative storytelling game. And also don't take the bad things personally. It's just a game. If there was anything I missed or forgot to talk about, let me know down in the comments. With that, I will leave helpful reference links in the descriptions, and that's all I have for this video for today, so I will see you next time.